Now, I also want to say something tonight about the contribution of Rupert Murdoch, Australia's greatest media man and the most significant media proprietor in the English-speaking world, as the 92-year-old Mr Murdoch steps down from active day-to-day -day management of the company he founded. And I say founded because while he inherited the newspaper gene from his father, the legendary Sir Keith Murdoch, the famous Gallipoli war correspondent, the global empire that is News Corp today is the life's work of Rupert Murdoch and will now, as announced today also, be taken on by his own son, Lachlan. Now, I've been honoured to meet and speak with Mr Murdoch on a number of occasions. He's a softly spoken man, a, a gentleman. He has a colossal intellect and a really genuine interest in people and politics. It's one of the privileges of working for senior political leaders. You get to meet extraordinary people who shape history. And shape history, he has. In this country, numerous important news sources, like the Australian newspaper and indeed this TV channel, would never have happened but for him. With a commitment to reporting all the news and analysing it from all sides, not just the dominant politically correct perspective, Murdoch has helped to keep free speech and good journalism alive. Indeed, in his statement today, his parting words as he passed the baton to his son were about protecting freedom of speech and freedom of thought. Now, on the left, he's got his critics. I mean, don't we all? Anyone who's any good has their critics. But it's hard to think of a more significant Australian businessman or a more significant global media figure in our lifetime.